we're going to learn how to use matrices to solve systems of equations. We first need to get familiar with some terminology. I need to write this as a matrix. Make sure the X and the Y are lined up. So you see I have my X's first. So that will be my first answer. I have my Y's equals my constants. So make sure the variables are on the left and the constants are on the right. I write this as a matrix. It would be 6, negative 2, 0. And then the coefficients of the variables in the second equation. It will be 5, 2, and my constant is 22. Okay, I need to know about the dimensions. Well, we list the rows first. So I have one row, two rows. And then I will list the number of columns. In the columns, I have one column, two columns, three columns. So the dimensions of this matrix, it's a two by three. Now, in order to solve the systems of equation, I need to tell my calculator what my matrix is. So that's the first thing I have to learn. And then I have to tell my calculator to put it in reduced row echelon form. Okay, for it to be in reduced row echelon form, I have to have 1, 0, and then 0, 1. And then my answers would be over here. Let's just pretend I had the answers 2, 5. And if I had my x's lined up first, my first answer would be the x and then my y. So my ordered pair would be 2, 5. So notice how I did get my 1's coming down in this diagonal. Okay, if I had a larger matrix, let's say we had the dimensions a 3 by 4. 3 rows by 4 columns. In order for it to be in reduced row echelon form, it would look something like this. And my answers would be here. So let's pretend they are 5, 7, and 2. Notice how my 1's are going down in the diagonal. And since it is in reduced row echelon form, I have zeros below and above. And then my answer, in this case, would be 5, 7, and 2. Let's work this matrix. I will write this system of equations as a matrix. And remember, my x's were lined up, my y's were lined up, and that's equal to my constants were on the right side. Let's put it into our calculator. Okay, we need to get familiar with a few buttons on our calculator. Okay, first of all, this is my home screen, but I need to find the matrix section. Right here is the matrix button. It is in blue under the X inverse on my calculator, but you're looking for this word matrix. In order to get to the matrix section, I'd have to hit second and X inverse. Now I can call my matrix A, B, C, D. These are all the names. If I use my cursor and go to the right, this tells me what math you want me to do on those matrix. And we are going to be going down, down, down on my calculator. It is under B, Reduce Row Echelon Form, and also Edit. I will have to tell my calculator what is my A, B, or C. So once again, these are the names of our matrices. We can put our matrix in any of these. This is the math, and I'm going to be putting it into Reduce Row Echelon Form. And then I'll come over here to Edit when I want to input. So let's begin. I'm going to start on my home screen. How do I get to my home screen? I quit whatever I'm doing. Here is the quit button. This is in blue under my mode. So in order to get to quit, I would do second mode. I have my matrix. I know it's a two by three. So I'm going to tell my calculator what my matrix is. Where's the matrix button? Second X inverse. But I'm going to go over to edit. So I'm using this cursor key to go to edit. So I'm about to edit A. If I wanted to edit B, I would go down at this point. So hit enter. Here are my dimensions. My A is a two by three. So two, enter, three, enter. There are my dimensions. And now it's getting my matrix ready for me. The numbers I wanted to enter was six, enter. Negative two, make sure you don't hit the minus button. Hit the negative button, zero, enter. 
You see how it's putting my values in? My second equation, 5, enter, 2, enter, and 22. Enter. My calculator knows what matrix A is. Great. Now let's quit, or let's go back to your home screen. How do we get to your home screen? In order to quit, we go to second mode. Okay, now I'm ready to do the math. The good news is I don't have to do the math. The calculator will do it for me. What are we doing? We're dealing with matrices. So I will hit second matrix. And this time I'm not going to edit it. I already know what A is. I'm just going to go over to the math. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to ask it to put it in reduced row echelon form. R-R-E-F. There it is. I hit enter. Now the calculator is saying, well, which matrix do you want me to do it on? A, B, C, or D? Okay, we'll go back to your matrix section. Second X inverse. Now I just want the name. I'm, I don't want to do the math. I don't want to edit right now. I just want the name. It is A. So it's already on A. So I'll hit enter. There. It's about to do reduce row echelon form on matrix A. Hit enter. Oh, look. You see how those ones are in diagonal and zeros above, zeros below? And that means my answer is right there, 2, 6. Okay, so the answer that the calculator gave me was 2, 6. So I should be able to plug in 2 for x and 6 for y. And both of these equations should be true. Now let's graph this in the graphing calculator. I need to solve both of these equations for y. So that's what I've done here. I have plugged in each equation, and so I'm going to graph it. And sure enough, they intersect at the point 2, 6. On another video, I will show you how to find this intersection point. But let's get back to our matrices. OK, let's make our calculator really work for us now. This is when I'm very happy I know about matrices. OK, in this problem, are my x's, y's, and z's lined up? Oh, look here. You do have to be a little careful there. There is not a Y. I would write 1, 0. 0 times Y is just 0. Minus 4, 1 is my constant. The second equation, I will have 2, negative 1, negative 6, 4. And the last equation, it will be 2, 3, negative 2, and 8. The dimensions of this matrix is a 3 by 4. Well, let's get this into our calculator. I'm going to my matrix section, which is second, x inverse. I'm going over to edit because I have to tell my calculator what my matrix is. I will leave this in matrix A, so I'm hit enter. I've got to put the dimensions. You told me it was a 3 by 4, and we had 1, enter, 0, enter, negative 4. 1, enter, and this calculator does not have quite enough room to show all four columns, which is why you see this. The second equation, 2, enter, negative 1, enter, negative 6, 4, and the last equation, 2, enter, 3, enter, negative 2, enter, and finally 8, enter. Now we have to quit. We have to go back to that home screen. So that second mode is the quit. OK, my calculator knows what matrix A is. It's a 3 by 4. I've entered my information. Now let's do some matrix math. Go to your matrix section. Go over to math. Then go down, down, down to reduced row echelon form. Hit Enter. Your calculator is saying, honey, I will do it for you, but you have to tell me which matrix. So go back to your matrix section. I just stay under the names, and I put my information in matrix A. So I simply hit Enter. Hit Enter again for your answer. <whistles> wow, look at that reduced row echelon form. You see my ones coming down the center? Not this one. That's part of my answer. It's these three ones, the zeros above, the zeros below. And there's my answer. So x will be 5, y will be 0, and Z will be 1. OK, here's another matrix. Are my X's lined up? My Y's lined up? And is equal to a constant. This has two rows and three columns. So it is a 2 by 3. Okay, let's put this into our calculator. 
I need to go to the matrix button, which is second X inverse on my calculator. Now I'm going to edit. Now which matrix do you want to put it in? A, B, C? Oh, let's put this one in B. So I'll go down in B. So I'm about to edit matrix B. Hit enter. And we said that our matrix was a 2 by 3. So 2, enter, 3, enter. And now it's setting it up for me. Let's enter it. 8, hit enter button. Negative 2, make sure you do not hit the minus, but you hit the negative. Negative 2, enter, and then 5, enter. The second equation was negative 12, enter, 3, enter, 7, enter. Whew, great. Okay, your calculator knows what matrix B is. Now let's quit, which means go back to the home screen. Where is quit? It's under this mode. Go back to the matrix section. I'm going to go over to math, and I'm going to go down, down, down to reduced row echelon form. Hit enter. I want it to do it on matrix B. Enter. And oh no, what happened? Has my calculator gone haywire? Re this is not in reduced row echelon form. Well, what could this be? Let's do another investigation. This was my systems of equations. Let's see what happens when we graph this. In order to graph it, I have to solve each equation for y. So let's plug those into our graphing calculator. Okay, I'm going to graph those. Look what we have. We have parallel lines. They have no solution. Did you notice that when I solve for y, I got it in slope-intercept form? I did have the same slope, yet different y-intercepts. Well, if it's the same slope, but it does not cross the y at the same place, then they are parallel lines. So no wonder my matrix went haywire. There is no solution. Okay, here's another matrix to try. Are my x's lined up, my y's lined up, and it's equal to my constant? Great. To write this in a matrix, that would be 3, negative 6, 12, 4, negative 8, and 16. Two rows by three columns. It's a two by three. Let's get this information into our calculator. Okay, I'm on the home screen. I'm going to go to the matrix section of my calculator. Second X inverse is where my matrix is. I will just leave this in A this time, but I do need to edit it. So I'm going to go over to the right to edit. It is an A. That's fine with me. Hit enter. It's still a two by three. Two, enter, three, enter. And my matrix was three, enter, negative six, enter, 12, enter. The second equation, I had four, enter, negative eight, enter, and 16, enter. I'm going to quit, which means I'm just going back to my home screen. Now I need to go back to the matrix section and ask it to do the math for me. What math do I want it to do? I want it to put it in reduced row echelon form, R-R-E-F. Hit enter. And I had this information in A. So go back to your matrix. Just under names, it's already on A. I have to hit enter, hit enter again. Huh, once again. My ones are not lined up. It is not in reduced row echelon form. But is it true? Is 0 equal to 0? Yes. So what kind of systems of equations was this? I mean, I solve this for y, I get 1 half x minus 2. And guess what? When I solve the second equation for y, I get 1 half x minus 2. It is the same line. So our answer is not no solution. It's every point on that line. Some people will write infinite points. Officially what it would be is all x and y's, every single point x and y that is on this line. I could write either line or I could write this equation. y is equal to 1 half x minus 2. It's every x and y on that line because it's the same line, so they're all answers. So how did we get to the matrix, first of all? The matrix button, then we went over to edit, and after we got our matrix, we hit enter. Then I had to tell my calculator what the dimensions were. I had to fill it in. I had to make sure I hit enter after each entry.
then you've got to quit. You've, you have to go back to your home screen. That is how you put your matrix into your calculator. Okay, next, after you go back to your home screen, you have to go back to the matrix button. But this time, instead of editing, you're going to go over to math. You're going to go down to R-R-E-F. Hit enter. Then you'll see R-R-E-F come up on the home screen. Then you have to go to matrix again and go down to the A, B, C, or D to get your matrix and hit enter. Now, don't you wish we had taught you how to use your calculator so you didn't have to learn all that systems of equations? But that wouldn't be nearly as fun to see how they all relate.